Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can track the internet connection inside the angular application using a package called as ngx online status so you can see it's a so short little demo and uh, whenever i am online here whenever the user internet connection is on this green light will be on now let's suppose if i turn off the internet connection here if i turn off the wi-fi here if i click this option now you will see the color will change to gray color signifying that the internet connection is lost here now if i go to google.com i can cross verify you will see the internet connection is not working so basically it is tracking inside uh, your application and now once again if i turn on the internet connection you will now see it will again change to green color automatically signifying that the internet is back on you can see that it has uh, the color is changed from gray color to the green color signifying that you are online so it is very much important inside applications to track the internet connection so it is making use of a condition here guys this package returns a numeric value here whenever your internet connection is gone let me just refresh this application you just check out the console here basically now if i turn on the turn off the internet connection here so what will happen here basically if I go to this uh, internet connection, if I click turn off the Wi-Fi here. So basically zero is returned to us inside the console signifying that the internet is not on. So we need to change the background color from green to gray. So we are making use of this condition inside of our HTML file here. And now once again, if I turn on the connection, let's suppose if I say here, if I now again turn on the Wi-Fi, you will now see basically it will re return 1 here. As it returns 1, you will see this will change from grey to green. So we are making use of this uh, numeric value which is returned to us based upon the condition. We are changing the internet connection. So now all the source code I have written in the description of this video guys, I have written a complete blog post. Uh, you can just copy paste the step by step instruction. So this is the link is given in the description of the video so now let me show you how basically it is built here so basically you just go to a website called as codesandbox.io this is the really a good website where you can build out projects inside react Vue, and angular so here you will select your angular application so it will make a brand new angular application and the very first thing we will do i think it has made you can see you will go to this is a standard angular project here you need to basically go to this section here add dependency you need to add a dependency which is called as ngx dash online status this is basically the module that we need to install simply install this module so now it will install this module here in the background so the, now the very first thing we need to do guys we just need to go to our app.module.ts file so in this file we just need to include the module let me zoom in so that you can see clearly what we need to do so right here inside this we just need to include the module right here so basically we will import the module from the ngx online status and from this we just need to import the file which is online status module so now we just need to uh, add this inside uh, the array here so you will simply copy this inside the imports array so right here so it is saying that cannot find module ngx online status or its corresponding type declarations I think you just need to refresh because sometimes it can take some time to install the modules. If you check here, basically we have installed it ngx. Online status. So simply install this. So what we can do is that we can write code here because uh, I think that file was not working so once you basically add this module line guys uh, import online status module you just need to add this inside this imports array after this you just need to go to our app.component.ts file 
so here basically inside this base we just need to let me also delete this code also so inside this file here we will declare a variable called as status which will hold the current status of the internet connection so this will be online status type so automatically this will be imported from ngx online status so this will be either offline or online and then we will have a online status type variable of the type that's it so after this we will have a simple constructor guys here we will simply pass uh, private and here we will need to uh, basically import a service here of the type uh, online status service so basically this will be a constructor inside this constructor we just need to make a simple call here to the function which is this dot online status service it contains a method called a status if you see and it contains a subscribe method and we can subscribe to it and basically every time whenever you just turn off the internet connection on turn on it will return a simple promise here which we can catch here so this value will be either 0 or 1 the status value and now we simply need to say this dot status is equal to status and now if you check here basically if you turn on the internet connection here let me turn off the internet connection you will see zero is returned to us so now if I once again turn back the internet connection you will see one will be returned to me you will see that so now we need to go to app.component.html file depending upon these conditions we just need to write basic html here so we will be attaching basically a simple class status you will see green is there because I think we have already written this CSS code here so let me delete the CSS so let me go to app.component so here we will be attaching a simple class here which is offline so this will depend upon the property which is the status value so if this equal to offline like this this is basically a condition here and then basically this is just a sample code here it is just be instruction here try this package by turning so now we can simply write some CSS here we can CSS is very simple basically if you paste this you will just see this is background color is green for the online effect so we are currently online so now we just need to write the class for the offline which we simply will change the background color to gray so whenever you now switch your connection off so you will see it will change to gray again if I change to uh, online it will again change to green so in this way you can track the connection here of your uh, let me see what happened let me just paste it this code here so this was the tutorial guys thank you very much for watching this video all the source code is given in the description of this video and i will be seeing you in the next video